Hello, West Coast. Hello, East Coast. So this is round two for this evening. Round two. What are we looking at here, my friend? We are looking at two little itty-bitty bottles of Glenfiddich 18 oh, single I, malt. I feel like a giant amongst this, this little bottle. Ain't it cool? Ain't it cool? I feel, and I, I feel like the bottle's from little, little from a little Lilliputian. And I'm, a, I'm Gulliver. Well, actually, it's Lilliput. Right? Lilliputs. Correct. And if you are not Lilliputs, what do you call it, <laughs> Lilliputs? That's not hey, nice hey, at hey, all. Hey, hey, hey. Keep it clean. No, not Shabbat. Isn't it? That's right. Exactly. I was just going to say, isn't it Shabbat? It is. It uh, is. Smite the almighty smiter. <laughs> Heathen. That's me. Um, anyway, so yeah, we got so we have a Glenfiddich. I believe this is a Highland. Is it a Highland? It is. Or a is Highland. it a Speyside? I believe. It, oh no, it's a Glen. I believe it's a Speyside. Correct. Yeah. So we've got the Glenfiddich 18, and we just reviewed the Johnny Walker Blue label, which came in a really pretty little package. It did. So again, much like the Johnny Walker Blue, it comes in a nice little. I like that they gave us a little tin. It's very cool. It's very cool. And it's I'm solid. Gonna, it's a I'm solid gonna, little bottle. Little it's little the real deal. Look. That's tin. real. That's for sure. It's got the tin top. It's probably do that it's, little pop thing. It's got the little cardboard. It's got the lovely triangular shaped bottle, which is cool. Oh, very cute. Yeah, I like Ooh. that. That's very, very it's cool. Very brown. Now, again, much like the other one that we reviewed, they didn't give us a little thing with a cork. It's just a regular old no. screw top. You ain't getting corks with these folks, I think. That's no. what guys. But what are you going to do? That's okay. But it's cool. And uh, I think, though, the ABV on this one is, what, 40%? It is correct, 40%. Yes, all of yeah, these are 40. 40. Yeah. So it, it's right at the entry point. So it doesn't have a five in it. No, it doesn't. Uh, and that doesn't make you happy. It, well, there's two things that don't make me happy. One, no five. Mm -hmm. And two, it has its first name is Glenn. And you generally, don't like Glenn's? I don't like Glenn's except I do like Glenn Murray. Um, but usually, Glenn. How about um, Glenn Scotia? Yeah, it's okay. How about a but, Glenn Grant? Uh, uh, same thing. Usually, Glenn's are not my thing. But uh, like. Glenn Campbell? Glenn Campbell, I love. <laughs> Glenn Ford, a wonderful <laughs> actor. Glenn. <laughs> Glenn Close. She's great. So hopefully so, this will be a good Glenn for me. So, But you yes. like Glens. You just don't like the whiskeys that have a Glenn in their name. Correct. Maybe typically. That's, yes, typically. And, like you and the five and the, and the zero. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is, this is, is, like, it a, is it a loathing of the Glens or is it just a meh of the Glens? It's a meh. It's more of a meh than a loathing. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you don't hate them. Don't you hate them. It's a meh. Now, if it was Glenn Lefroy, let's say well, they call it Glenn Freud, would you be upset they, with that? I would not be upset with that. Okay. As long as they stay Lefroy, but with the Glenn. True. Glenn Lefroy would be a very okay. interesting. Yeah. So change the name, but don't change the spirit. Exactly. So I'm going to crack this baby. I do and, like the little uh, deer on the uh, logo. Yeah, it's cool. It's very cool. I like the, the triangular shaped bottle. And I thought it was, wasn't there some story? Where they made it this shape so that you know, for seamen, you know, guys on the sailors and everything, the bottle this would roll. Sounds familiar. Yes. I don't know. It could be a bunch of nonsense. Either way, it's cool, and you know what? It gives you a good grip. It does. It's a good, good gripping grip on the bottle. Uh, bottle. Yes. So, and let's talk a little bit about the glass too. This was a glass from Kiddish Fest with our boy Ari, Ari White of the Correct. Wandering Q. Yes. And, um, you know, I don't know. I, I, we weren't crazy about the glass. No, we weren't crazy about the glass. But I figured, and you know what, we could do a twofer here. We could do a review of the whiskey, and we sure. could do a review of the glass. And um, it was my first use of the glass at Kiddush Fest with you. So this is a, a little more detailed look. We were just drinking that night, weren't we? Um, so this well, is we a, always, Isn't that's that what true. we always do? Just drink. This is true. No, I'm gonna go half. I'm gonna go half. I don't know. I, it's really hard on this glass to figure out where, how much well, you should be I say go by the bottle. Do go by the bottle. So I, I have about half in there. You got like Approximately. So, and you know, it's funny because when I look at them on the on the camera on on the on the on the, the Skypey, it doesn't look that big, but in person, it's a big glass. It is. It is. Um, I actually have a. Uh, Glen Karen nearby, you can see much shorter. Right, but and this is you much can actually squatter. Take much squatter. You could take your... Don't break glasses. 
No, but you could put your Lef- your Glencairn inside of the neat of the neat, neat glass. You could put it in both directions. Fascinating. Isn't that interesting, yeah. That is so don't break don't, the glass. No, no, no. I think the Malt Imposters reviewed this glass a while back. And I think oh. they liked it for nosing. I think nosing it does work well. It's the drinking part that's difficult. As we found out that night. Yeah, in so New York. We're, we're gonna find out tonight. We're gonna yep. find out tonight. What I did like about this glass, I did like the fact that you could just kind of like put your thumb and forefinger around it. And it was yeah. for a comfortable grip for walking around all night. So I see the advantages there, but the um, drinking is a little bit. Mm. It's it's interesting because I, I agree with you. It's very easy to hold. Uh, interesting. I'm looking quickly at the knee glass website. What's the, the the thing that they try to sell on the science of it is that you're getting ethanol free aroma. Sure. That's what they say, and that's usually the issue you you don't want is you don't want a big whiff of alcohol mm-hmm. coming into your nose. You want to smell the spirit, not a whiff of alcohol and burning every hair in your nose and throat and eyeballs. So that's apparently why the design is such. But you know what? That would be a cool party trick on Halloween. <laughs> it would be. <laughs> and it would scare the little ones to no end. Uh, good. You know, the kids could use a scare. So per Glenfiddich, we use Spanish Oloroso wood and American oak to mature this rich, intriguingly fruity, and robust oak expression. But there are many more reasons why this expression is special. Every batch is individually numbered and carefully watched over. Each has extraordinary consistency and character from an intense marrying period and a warming, distinguished finish. A truly exceptional single malt, the result not just of 18 years of care and attention, but of whiskey-making craft and knowledge passed down through the generations. Wow. All right, so let's, let's do a nose thing. Let's so do again, the nosing, I, the neat I, nosing. I like I like the way it just kind of like you can just grip this thing. I do like that. So from a ergonomic perspective, I like it. And, and you know what's nice too? You get a wide grip on the glass. So I'm thinking no carpal tunnel. True. See? See? Well, very good point. Well, the other nice thing uh, I have to, I didn't think about before, but, you know, many people will tell you that you want to warm up your whiskey and from your hand. So this is a good, easy way to kind of encompass the glass and uh, warm it up it a warm, I'm giving it a warm embrace. Well, you are an embraceful you, that's for it's sure. Like a, it's, it, it's like a bear hug in succession, whatever that is. Wow. I still haven't figured that out. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't, I don't get any singe. There is no singe. No, no singe. No singe. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. Not cheat. I'm going to experiment. Are you going to try side by side? Bring in my Glencairn. Oh. Taking the 18, pouring a tad, which would be all the rest of this 50 ml. Well, you know what? If we're going to do that, I'm going to have to go get my Glen Karen. So let me, let me drop the headphones and I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah. So now I got mine. And we're going to do a little side-by-side nosing. So this is a double-duty review. We're reviewing glassware and whiskey. Look at that. Crazy. Let's look at the smell first. Yeah, the nose. I'm gonna go back to the meat. You know what? I gotta say, I think I, I just for the nosing, just for the sheer like just robustness of it all. I think I like the Glencairn better because the Glencairn just kind of funnels it up into my nose. Hmm. It think, feels okay. like. And I and I me, do get the alcohol, so I kind of get what they're saying. That you know, because I don't get any burn less, from. The, you're saying yeah, there's, there's less on the meat. There's less burn for sure on the knee, yep. but there's also I, less of everything else. Yes, I agree. So my my first thought is designed very well. The neat we're talking meat class here for eliminating that um, ethanol vapor at the top. Yeah, but I think it gets rid of a lot of other stuff too. Well, and they argue that that's not what's happened. That you're actually going to get more of the the actual character of the of the spirit. Yeah. I smell a lot less from the neat class than I do from the Glen Cairn. I think you're right. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So now, I'm getting a lot of everything. I'm getting a lot less of everything. It feels good in your hand. It's uh, it's not big and bulky. I don't like glasses that are bigger than my hand. And some the meat, the neat glass feels a little bit like a baseball, a little bit, or like a softball, comparatively to the the Glen Cairn, which is 
it kind of just fit. Yeah, and it's just it's just comfortable. It feels very. It has that warm, fuzzy feeling like the outside of a tennis ball. Maybe we're just used to it, but it feels very ergonomic. It feels mm-hmm. very natural. The knee glass doesn't feel natural in my hand at all. Well, like I said, I mean, I, I don't mind the grip. So I can kind of see holding this, like, you know, if I had to carry it for a while. I don't but know. But it is, it is kind of big. I think it, you're holding it like this way now. But if you're by your third hour in a bar, would you be holding it like that? No, probably not. No, Probably I don't not. think you would either. Whereas this, you're kind of moving around, and it's easy, and gosh, you know, you got yeah. the little well here to look at things. How's this? Let's let's do a little whiskey comparison here. So we should try some the, whiskey. The, well, in a minute, the Glencairn glass is non-chill filtered. The, the neat Glen- glass, yes, is is chill filtered with all the esters just taken out of it from there a nosy perspective. That's that's very good. It's just, eh, it, does, it doesn't do it for me on the nosing. It really doesn't help. No, it seems like there could be other uses for it. Um, I think we talked about, I, brought, I remember bringing it home thinking, you know, it'd be really good for a votive candle. Yes, I was thinking that too. When you were putting it on top, when you were putting the Glen Care on top, uh-huh. I was thinking you put, the, you put the candle in here, and when you want to put the candle out, you just put your Glen Care over it to just there dry you it go. out. There you so go. I, I was, that's exactly what I was thinking when you were doing that little motion. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just not no. And what's interesting is I can get the lip of the glass on my on my teeth, and get my whole nose in the glass, and I still don't get any aromas. That's interesting. Yeah, so that is that is very odd. I'm I have, I'm attempting the same thing, and you're right. Because I can get it up to the the top of, the upper rim is at the top of my nose, like at the bridge of my nose. Right. So you can really get your nose in this thing, but I'm still not picking up much. It's like dissipated and diluted the whole thing. Yes. And, it's you know. gone somewhere. Those smells have gone somewhere. They don't yeah, know here you go. Here's another analogy. You know those low-flow shower heads? I do. I hate them. We're, yeah, this is a low-flow shower head. Um, um, all right. So nose-wise, I, I, I don't get a whole lot of that, so I'm going back to the Glen Cairns. No. So, again, from the ergonomic perspective, it's got a nice grip, but the <clears> Glen Cairn probably better for uh, overtime duty. From the nose, the Glencairn, uh, far superior. Yep, yeah, and I just a comfortability factor that is unmatched. I would agree. I would agree. The Glencairn is the Glencairn is the goods. I put my nose in the Glencairn now, and it really does smell great. I mean, you get you get the dried fruits, you get some honey, maybe a maybe a touch, maybe a touch of like tobacco, but not it, not smoky per se, like that sweet tobacco smell. It's very interesting that you get all these, you get smells, you get flavors, you get things out of this glass. Same whiskey, but the other had, it's all gone. Yeah, I don't get any of that in the class. It's really odd, whereas their website suggests the opposite. It's just odd. It's like the, it's much like the the Norland glass, which is more of a talking point than a... Good drinking glass. I I did not like that glass. I only tried it no. at your house. Yeah. And I thought the rim was too thick. I didn't yep. like the feel of it. It was almost too light. Yep. It feels it's like you're going to break it. It feels like you're going to. Yeah. You could squeeze it and break it. Yeah. Which you probably I, could. I could. I didn't like that. Let's Should we try tasting? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's try, try tasting this this 18 uh, year old Glenfiddich. You're using the Glencairn first. I'm going to try the neat glass first. I'm going to do the. T- it shouldn't make a difference in the tasting. It's a little hot at the start with some, you know, the usuals, the cinnamons, the cloves, all that good stuff, dark fruit, a little bit of sugar, but not, not very, very sweet. Not sweeter sweet. Than probably, sweeter than probably what you're used to or what you usually I, drink. Yes. Um, quite but that's spicy. probably the sherry. Yeah. yeah but, I, I think there's a definitely, you get the, the wine influence, uh, highly spicy. Definitely dark fruits, definitely dark dried f- fruits. Um, you said cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Definitely maybe burned cinnamon, uh, burned sugar. Um, just a little bit of, uh, not tobacco, but something else. Um, charcoaliness. I'm leather. Not sure. Maybe a little leather. Maybe leather. Like a saddle. Um, Maybe. Um, a stiff riding crop. 
Well, hell no. Hey, now. <laughs> hey, now. There Where are we are going? Where are we going? I don't know. Where are we going with this? I'm drinking out of the neat glass. Yep, I'm doing the same. Is so a strange experiment. You know what the problem is with the neat glass, too? I think it's because of that extreme lip. Like, I think maybe it was made for nosing. Okay, great. Sure, made for nosing. Definitely not made for drinking. No, and that's, as I said, don't overthink it. You know what the weird thing is, too? Because you don't know how far to tip it back. Uh, that's right. And then you get a rush of whiskey. Unless you fill it really high, I think you're going to have a hard time with this thing. Well, we talked about this uh, at Kiddush Fest, that when you turn it and you're trying to finish that, this is a bad example. When you're that last to finish, drop? It's tough to get it out. You have to basically turn it upside down. Pretty much. Well, let's see. Okay, now I had, I mean, look how far I'm tilting this thing, and it's still not coming up with the side. No. Yep, I agree. So it's uh, it's, it's a, a pain in the neck. It is. Well, it's it annoying. would be because it will be a pain in the neck when you have to get your neck all the way back when yep. you pour it over. If and when there's a kiddish fest too, I say we tell Ari, listen, charge an extra five bucks and get the Glen Cairns. Yep, I think um, we'll have to let him know that. You know, we've been to enough whiskey events, you and I. Glen Cairn is the standard, um, but I think. This is just a little bit too odd. I'm with you. You know, so, okay. your business you know is a little bit just too dirty, as Vito would say. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm, what taking, are you doing? I'm taking this. I'm getting. Oh, I'm you, put this in. you are a genius. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But look, 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 look. You got to go way far over. Yes, you do. Look at that. I had to go that far yeah, to get to it get all. It in all. There. I agree. That is. No, you know what? Let's do a little. Here, you know what? Just, just, just to prove our point, we'll go the other way. This way, I just have to go nice and easy. Just a little tip. Boom. Boom. Pours nicely. Done. You know, so now I'm going I'm going back and we'll do it one more time, just in case for all you fine folks at home that are who probably, have, have to who have, learn the, the the old school way. Look at that. Look how much like visuals. Look at that. Look how, go all the ways over. I gotta basically turn it upside down to get every single drop of whiskey out of that. It's just nuts so, up. Yep. Okay, so neat glass is out. Glenn Fittick is in. I'm sorry, Glenn Cairn is in. Oh, that's a Glenn you like. You like a Glenn Cairn. Glenn Cairn I like, yeah. See, yes, we yes, found yes. a Glenn you like. Glenn Danzig from the Misfits I like. <laughs> so, oh, you know what? In this glass, Glenn Geary. I like Glenn Geary. Oh, I do like Glenn Geary, yes. Glenn Geary's got a little fight in it. Yes. Glenn Geary, like Glenn it. Ross. Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Yes. Something like that. Another, but, another anyway. Glenn I like. Yeah, so I like the nose on this. I think it smells great. Oh, yeah. It's, and it's you know, a... and for not having a five in it, it, it doesn't feel particularly watered down. No. Um, I thought it was, on, on initial couple sips, I thought it was pretty bold. I thought mm -hmm. it was uh, really bold. That, that's a nice whiskey. That's just a very nice whiskey. Our buddy Sam is a big fan of the Glenfiddich. So... Okay, let's let's finish up and uh, give our finals on this on this Glenfiddich. Uh, I'd say it's really good. It goes for about a goes for about a hundred bucks, and I don't think that's incredibly unreasonable in this day and age for an eighteen year old whiskey. No, not at all. Now, now, granted, it's at a lower ABV. Yeah. So you know they maybe water it not water it down a little bit, but you know they they brought it down to the where they think it's right. I think it's good. I think it's good as is. I would I would go solid B plus. Oh, I, I would definitely say solid B plus. 87, 88. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, uh, and again, 100... I'm not giving it a score that low because it's bad. It's just not my preference. Correct. It, it, so, again, if we're talking about buying versus just drinking, I probably wouldn't buy it. Uh, mm -hmm. But if, I'm, if it's sitting out at a, a whiskey event, I would definitely pour it um, for myself. And uh, it may not be my first choice, but if I had a lot of other sherry cask items, mm -hmm. uh, I think I would go to this ahead of many other ones for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's, one other one other thought. This would probably cocktail really well. You're probably right. Because I yeah. don't think a lot of Scotch whiskeys do cocktail well. Like I don't really like Scotch whiskey in a cocktail, unless it's like a highball or so something why you, simple like that. Why do you think this one would? I, I think it's just the roundness of the flavors because it has the sweetness from the oak cask and then it has, you know, it has the vanilla and all that. Mm -hmm. I think it'll probably make a really nice old fashioned. Uh, I think you're right. 
I, I wouldn't think, do a Rob Roy because I don't think I like Rob Roy's. I think because the sherry is not so predominant. No, it's pretty gentle. You can use this in an old fashioned a Manhattan, and you would not find it weird. Yeah, I think it would really work in something like that. Yeah. I, I think agree. it would work really nicely. I mean, granted, so, you, know, you probably don't want to make a cocktail with a $100 bottle of whiskey. But if you were so inclined and you had a big bottle and you want to try something different, yeah. why the hell not? Yeah, sure. So I would give my, my little grading scale here um, solid B, B plus on the whiskey. And I got to say D to, fail, to F on the, on the neat glass. I would, I'm with not, you. I would not buy one. Um, I would but you not. know what, though? I'm, I'm glad I finally got to try it because I was intrigued by the glass. Well, so. I was too. And I'm glad we, we, we didn't like it on first try in New York, yet it wasn't maybe a, a fair – well, maybe it was fair because we were just drinking like every, everyday guys. But we saw some issues with it that first night, and now we've mm -hmm. proven those issues tonight. I think so. So anyway, Glen Karen gets an A+. Plus. That's a oh, solid that – that is, a, that is, if it was Rotten Tomatoes, that would be a ripe, juicy, delicious, mid-August Jersey tomato, maybe an heirloom tomato. Mm -hmm. and, and this puppy is a smashed, bottom of the barrel, got a little mold on it, rotten tomato. But I would say we definitely can use a votive candle in there and be happy. Well, that's true. We can repurpose it. We're not going to throw it away. No, no, no. So anyhow, all right. I think we got Cheers. It. Alrighty. So we got a solid B plus on the whiskey, a solid A plus on the glass, and a solid D minus to an F on this glass. Correct. But it's great for candles. So great for motives. Do it for dinner by candlelight and drink you know, your whiskey and your glen care. And Halloween's coming up and it's a candle holiday. So scare the little ones. Ooh, I'm in. scary, scary, scary. If Ooh. we haven't scared them enough. That's right. All right. Cheers, West Coast. Cheers.